All right, so good afternoon, everyone. So I need to prune my pomegranate tree. Uh, it's what, February, I think 8th. So it's still early uh, in the year, but as soon as you can see, like the new growth that's starting, starting to grow on the pomegranate tree, that's you know about the time when you know to prune it so all i'm going to do is i'm going to clean right here at the bottom because if i leave that there then it's going to keep growing and it's going to keep getting messy so here we go and right here for these like i don't really care how i cut them because uh, I don't want these. So, when I don't want, I guess to say something, then it's pretty easy just to, you know, chop it up. No big deal. <laughs> Alright, so I'm pretty much done with this part right here. Um, because this is a graft. It's small, but that's the only piece that I'm going to keep. Now, moving on to this one, I gotta get rid of any growth from the bottom. Now, I'm not gonna do too much of a cut, simply because I do want this, I guess, branch, or I don't wanna call it a trunk, but the main part of this, um, pomegranate to get thicker so I think I think that's gonna be it for this one because if it was any other part of the branch I would have just you know cut all these up to clean them up but I want nutrients to keep flowing uh, so I'm gonna leave a lot of the branches in there And that should do it. Yeah, I don't want to cut too much into it. All right, so this is pretty much done on this side. And you can see where it goes. Um, this is one variety. And then onto this one. It's going to get a bit more complicated because I need to clean up right there. Because if not, it will get crowded. It will, uh, I don't want to get all messy. But even now, you can see how it looks. There's just too much going on. So I am going to clean it up. This guy, I do need to cut. This big one. So, here we go. My trusty, trusted uh, saw saw is for construction. So first thing you gotta do is cut the bottom. Just a little bit. That way when I cut it down, it doesn't peel um, the skin off and that's that so all I'm gonna do afterwards is just patch it up with um, the tree wound seal and that should do it so back to the main part <sighs> I gotta cut that little stump off but up there, that's where it might give me some problems. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, let's do this. That should do it for that part right here. Um, it's a bit cleaner, not as crowded anymore, but I'm leaving this part right here. This trunk right there, 
or branch because I am going to air layer it. Um, meaning I'll be making a copy or a new tree uh, later on, but I am going to cut that one off later uh, once I do the air layering. All right, so this one on this side is going to be the challenging one soon because it is pretty high um, up there. So all I'm going to do is anything going up, I'm going to cut them. Um, soon because you know later on if it gives fruit it's gonna be too high and you know I have to climb and then like risk getting poked by the branches um, so let's see let's see so I'm gonna climb that real quick So this is the final result. Um, so I tried to sort of open it so that the branches go outward and they're somewhat spaced out. And once fruit, you know, once it begins to bear fruit, those branches will begin to sag even more. Um, so I did leave another one, another branch, this one right here going up uh, because I'm also going to air layer it so later on I will end up you know cutting it down but as you can see all the other ones they're open they're going out um, same thing with this one and then of course this is going to be air layered as well so hopefully everything is spread out sort of like an umbrella um, the one that I didn't mess around too much with was this one because I do want the trunk or branch whatever you want to call it to get thicker or bigger so I left a lot of the growth on it or branches you know that way more nutrients uh, flows through it and then this one right here it does look weird coming this way but I am going to air layer it and try to make it into a, like a little bonsai. Um, but first I do need roots to come out from here and here. And then I'll get rid of it later. So that is all I'm going to do for today. Thanks everyone.